Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself adventure. We are continuing our Kwajalein snorkeling series. If you haven't figured out where Kwajalein is yet, you're not alone, but I encourage you to go check out our Iman Beach video where we dive into exactly how to get to Kwajalein. And we are continuing that series today. We are doing a more advanced snorkel. This is going over the reef north of the island. And as always, we're going to rank this on five different categories. That is location, water access, water traffic, wildlife, and facilities. And we're going to rank it on our scale of one to five mantra. Five mantra. So when I say going over the reef, what exactly does that mean? Well, Kwajalein is an atoll with about 97 different islands that are mostly connected by reef. So it's mostly reef with a little couple of islands that stick out above the water. Kwajalein Island then is the largest island here in the south part of the atoll. So when we're going over the reef here, we're talking about the connected area between islands. And so the island north of Kwajalein is Little Bustard. And so on super, super low tides, you can actually walk out on to the reef carefully so you don't disturb the reef. And we call that reefing. But at high tide, you can actually swim and snorkel over this part of the reef. And it is super shallow, but really, really unique. So this is a specific time of the day and or, you know, lunar cycle that you can do this snorkel and it's at high tides. So you cannot do the snorkel all the time. You have to wait till high tides because otherwise it's quite dangerous. You can scrape yourself on the reef and that's incredibly dangerous. You can get really infected really easily here. So this is a limited time opportunity to go over the top of the reef. So here you can see we are at the north part of the island. We're looking north and there is Little Bustard right there, uh, along with Big Buster and Ebi. And you can see that this water is moving pretty fast from right to left. It's coming from the east here. And that is pretty standard here. The winds are almost always coming from the east on Kwaj. There's a bit of a season where the doldrums come and it's a little bit more calm, but you can always count on the current pushing you here from east to west as we look north uh, on this part of the island. So really I treat this snorkel kind of like a ride. And so you're gonna get in here in the northeast section and you're gonna float. You don't have to do anything and the water is just gonna push you around the island and you're gonna end over kind of by the North Point steps. And then you can continue to snorkel down to Iman Beach area if you'd like, or you can get back out and do it again. Uh, there are actually a couple of stairs along the north side of the island where you can get out and do this again. It is truly like a ride, it's pretty fun. But so to get here, you have to get to the northeast corner of the island. You're still going to be facing north. And basically the best way to describe this is uh, a street here ends, your, your northernmost street going north ends basically at this bench. And there is a set of stairs that comes down to the waterline from here. So being that this is the northern part of the island, which is the most inhabited part of the island, close to most of family housing, and not so far from the BQs, I'm gonna go ahead and give this four out of five for location. Now because this is a bit of a ride, you cannot plan to get back out in this location. Again, this water is gonna push you very quickly down to the west part of this uh, reef section and over to the north point section of Kwajalein. So uh, for that reason, I recommend that you kind of park your bike either at north point or oftentimes what I'll do is I'll park at Iman Beach, I'll swim up and then I'll get out at North Point and then I'll walk over and then I'll kind of take the ride over and then I'll just kind of float and swim down back to Iman Beach. Now it's pretty long, especially if you're a new snorkeler, but that's typically what I tend to do for this snorkel. But in any case, you're gonna find yourself walking along the outer kind of road here, this gravel road that encompasses the perimeter of Quadge here. And uh, so oftentimes we'll be walking either barefoot or with booties on to get to these steps in the Northeast corner. And you'd think with a step entry, it's pretty easy, but here on Quaj, especially since, again, you need to wait until this tide is high to be able to do this. Otherwise, you're going to you're gonna scrape the reef, you're going to hurt yourself, and it could be very, very dangerous. So you need to wait for very high tides to be able to do this. But that means that you're going to have higher waves as well. And so, as I recommend, you sit on these steps at the bottom to get ready, because, again, these steps can be a little bit slippery. But as you set your gear up, you need to watch out for bigger waves coming in. You hear you see one, ooh, yeah, that's a little uncomfortable, right? It, it, it hurries you along very quickly if you've got waves coming at yourself like this. But you gotta be careful on these steps as well. So, so you must be mindful of the waves here. And then you do have some rocks that are very shallow, that are very pointy, that you don't really wanna run into just underneath the water line. So this is not the easiest of entries, even though you do have stairs to get you into the water. Basically, you wanna start floating as quickly as you can. You wanna get your face in the water as quickly as you can, just to make sure you know where you're going. And then push out so that water can take you further down. I like to kick out pretty far and just kinda of see what I can see, but it'll move quickly once you do get in. So since this water access does have stairs that lead down to it, but it is not comfortable and you need to move quickly, I'm only giving this three out of five manta rays. 
So once you get in, if you stay close, and I mean very close to the island, there's a, quite a trench that is around Kwajalein Island here that can kind of uh, lead you around and you can find the cool shells and stuff like that in there. I like to kick out a little bit further and see uh, other wildlife as you go, but it really is up to you. And again, you can do this several times or a couple different places to get out uh, with stairs, either at North Point or in between. But when it comes to water traffic, yeah, there's no one else who ever does this at the same time. Uh, this is a limited time snorkel. You rarely ever see anybody else doing this when you're doing it. And so for that reason, it gets the illustrious five out of five mantras. So what can you expect to see over the reef? Well, you know, you get some really unique wildlife sighting opportunities when you are on top of the reef here. And as you can see, it's quite shallow. So if you're not comfortable swimming in shallow water, this is probably not a snorkel for you. And that's okay. Uh, you always want to be comfortable. And this is one that you can definitely hurt yourself on. With that coral, anytime you scrape yourself with a coral out here is is can turn into a bad situation pretty quick. You gotta clean that out. You really gotta get in there and, and get all of that coral out. It's living, so it's easy to infect. Uh, so don't ever risk it, but you can see some unique wildlife up here. By far the thing that I only see on top of the reef is the wonderful and exciting blue starfish. These large blue starfish, I almost only see them here on top of the reef. They love that shallow water and they're really, really fun to see. Now a unique part about this snorkel, because it is, again, like a ride, if you see something really cool that you want to investigate, you don't have a lot of time to do that or else you got to work really, really hard to maintain the same place in the water because that current is shoving you over the reef. So here we, we found a cool starfish, but we can't hang out very long without just sucking wind real fast because it is a lot of effort to stay still. So, uh, but this is a great place to see blue starfish. It's also a great place to see black tip reef sharks and they will like to cruise around in the shallows here. Again, these are small reef sharks at most, maybe three to four feet at the biggest, um, but they like to cruise these shallows as well. So a really good place to see that. You can also see a lot of eagle rays up this way as well. And so uh, a great opportunity to see some stuff really close up as well, as well as turtles, I will say. Um, but up here, because you're moving quickly and you're not moving, oftentimes these things will get really close to you. Uh, once you start moving around, they're gonna take the hint and get lost. But if you stay really still, some of these things, both the rays and the sharks, they can come up to you and just kind of check you out. And that's always really, really cool to get that close to them. Now, eventually, as this current carries you around, you're going to go over the top of the edge of the reef here, which is up by North Point. And so we've talked about North Point in a couple of our other videos here. And so now the current is much, much less. It's much easier to hold your ground if you do see something really cool. And now you can either choose to come into the North Point stairs if you parked your bike there, or you can float down to Iman Beach. And so that is kind of how you can conclude this snorkel. Uh, but it's going to be quick because that current is significant so be ready for that but up here you'll see that the reef looks a lot different it's a lot more kind of even and flat and so that's a lot different than you know around the north point area or down by iman beach and so that's unique in itself as well so the wildlife here is great to get really close to some of the bigger things if you're comfortable with that so i'm going to give it five out of five manta rays. five manta rays. finally we have facilities and again the facilities here are basically nil at north point you do have a rinse off station as well as bike racks but you don't have toilets unless you go all the way down to Iman Beach. So I'm only going to give this three out of five manta rays. So overall, if you found yourself in the water plenty, you're feeling comfortable and you're around during a high tide. And again, this needs to be a, a reasonably high tide. Then, hey, check out this really cool snorkel. Again, it's like a ride. If you're a thrill seeker, this might be more up your alley as well. And if you're not, then maybe avoid this one. That's no problem at all. Plenty of cool things to see elsewhere but it's a really unique opportunity, a particularly unique snorkel here on Quadge, and something fun and different, especially if you're a bit of an adrenaline junkie. So check this out. Put any other thoughts that you have in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please do that as well. As always, make sure to leave this place cleaner than when you found it, and we will see you next time.